So good morning, and this morning you join us on a little 23 mile ride, um, just a local, and we've done this route many, many times. Um, it's just what we call our local training ride. Um, but Mark's just got back from France, and uh, he's been, he did I think three Tour de France stages all around uh, Alpe d'Huez and uh, the same area. Um, so it's basically just a little chat with him and uh, enjoying a ride together. We haven't been out together for quite a while. So how was the um, temperature though, Mark? Was it cold in the mornings or not too bad? Or? I mean, the first four days, it was about 29 degrees. Yeah, so get at the bit unbearable the ride, then. I suppose. The ride would go into like a river and just, just literally stand up to yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> and those rivers are amazing, oh, aren't they? So Crystal cold, clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The ice cold, they're perfect. So yeah, so that was good. Then we had one rainy day, which was like our rest day, which worked yeah. out quite well. We well, still did like a climb, just spring the legs. And then the last day was just lovely again. We were, we were really lucky. A bit of cloud changes at the top, obviously. Yeah. But um, yeah, the outdoors was superb. And then after that, we tagged on the balcony route, which was just probably my favorite. So that you weren't planning that bit then? Well, no, we were, but oh, I, right. I didn't know nothing about it. No, can't. But um, I honestly, I have never seen such views. You're on top of the mountains and you're going through these tiny little villages. Yeah. You've got massive drops, you've got huge lakes. Yeah. You've got snow on top of the mountains. Yeah, it's just stunning, isn't it's it? It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that was a real buzz. And by the time we got to the base, we've done about six, six point two climbing yeah and then we had to climb about another thousand <laughs> oh my legs were gone by then yeah, yeah yeah it was so hot and uh, so during those sort of th there was not a lot of talking going on mate, i guess I, I said to mom i said i'm not being rude <laughs> i won't talk to any of you <laughs> actually when me and hatch pretty much stay together all the okay time. was there anyone that saw really shone yeah oh right yeah. He's very good, very strong. He I am just videoing like... this, by the way. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's um he's got the climbing frame. Right. Whereas who I've never met before. <laughs> and he's just literally dancing out the saddle. <laughs> going about six to ten miles an hour yeah yeah grinding it out. yeah so, so just to explain this next bit uh mark is just about to ask me about I, I may have been a little uh a little rude in the hand gestures when des overtook me um shortly before this clip so mark is just asking me the same um whether it's some sort of new hand gesture or uh, a new uh so I basically just said it was a, a new signal for chapeau, basically.
For anybody who's not lucky enough to ride in a group or have never ridden a group before and is thinking about it, I can just can't recommend enough um, how good it is. I mean, this is a pretty rainy, drizzly, grey day in the UK, um, and we've just gone out for about an hour and a half thereabouts with a with a coffee at the end, like we always do. But um, you just can't beat it. To me, you know, uh, as when it comes to friendship. Um, we just have a good old laugh, bit of a chat, um, and obviously Mark's just been on a great holiday, so it's great to hear all about that. Um, but you, you just can't beat it. If you need to pick up yourself um, for mental health reasons or or for physical reasons, um, there's nothing quite like cycling. 